Welcome back to section 7 of our course. We are starting to really get some knowledge under our belts about user experience design. In the previous section, we started to learn how media starts to play a key aspect in our content and the structure of our websites. Home pages are essential to the website, but only if the content is usable. In this section, we'll be growing our user experience understanding by learning about best practices. We will define some best practices in usability, we'll explore where you can find them, and then why we use them for better user experience. In the first video on best practices, we will explore how user experience is improved by all the UX community. Let's get going. During our design process, we became familiar with how and why users engage in content and how to build for them. This is where best practices and usability come into the picture. What are best practices? A best practice is an industry held agreement for the most efficient and effective way to accomplish a desired task. Many best practices are also standardized inside interaction guidelines for corporations, products, and software. Best practices usually consist of a technique, process, or methodology to produce a desired outcome. Best practices exist in nearly every inner industry. However, they have become specifically relevant inside the user experience and interaction and development communities. As much of our output revolves around data and business processes. Best practices in the user experience world are seen as steps taken to make our products and services, one, more usable, like a calendar app, two, more profitable, think of companies like Uber, and bug-free, which is things like Google, Google search. Best practices in user experience are connected to usability factors because what we build is ultimately used by other humans and we want to learn and hopefully repeat for our users. Let's review some of the common best practices that our typical UX designer should know. One, keep content as concise as possible. The web is a fast medium, especially when we consider mobile first. So keep it quick and understandable. Two, use headings to break up long content. Web pages scroll, and you can keep your user far more engaged through breaking up the content with headers. This is especially important as content scales and down to a single page on your mobile device. But this also applies to the content chunking we discussed earlier. Number three, when designing a list, Use a bulleted or zebra text formatting for clarity. This helps you know what is listed and it improves legibility. For hyperlinks, you want to make them as user-friendly as possible. Blue with an underline is an HTML standard for a hyperlink. Jacob Nielsen, who we discussed earlier, established this standard and made buttons clear and interaction states clear the unvisited, selected, and visited states. Number five, use visuals strategically. Visuals should enhance legibility and be supportive to, use, to the use of headings and concise content. Best practices are growing, an ever-changing set of guidelines that all user experience designers should be aware of. The web is being used by billions every second, and that means we learn from that process. And how we build experiences is constantly in flux. Some places you can go to keep up with best practices are the Norman Nielsen Group at nngroup.com. You can also explore the w3.org, which is the development group that maintains the, the web standards. Or Mashable.com has a website usability tips Smashing Magic Magazine also keeps up on best practices, and many UX articles and blogs will also discuss best practices. There are many, many more, and the conversation is never stopping. Best practices 
can be seen in a cooking analogy. Best practices are the ingredients in building a great user experience. Like cooking the challenge is combining the right mix of ingredients to get the desired outcomes by a good cook. And a good cook tastes his ingredients first. You can guarantee a quality product if you know that you're using the freshest ingredients. And if you're using the best practices, that results in a better user experience. It is both science and art, and you should be learning and experimenting with new combinations of best practices for whatever problem you're solving on the web.